Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and we're going to talk about Tigana. This book, first of all, let's start with the author. It's written by Guy Gabriel K. Gabriel, I think is how you say his name. Gabriel, I'm not sure. He is Canadian. He lives in Saskatchewan, which might not be how you say it, but I hope that it is. I, I have read a couple of books by him now, and I think he does such a great job of creating worlds. Like, he does a very good job of making a fantasy world and sucking me, at least, right into his story. And so in Tigana, what we're primarily focusing on is... A group of people, okay, I'm going to read you what the description says about this book, and I think this is one of those cases where there is a lot, a lot of big words used to not say a lot of stuff about it. Here's what it says. Tigana is the magical story of a beleaguered land struggling to be free. It is the tale of a people so cursed by the black sorcery of a cruel, despotic king that even the name of their once beautiful homeland cannot be spoken or remembered. But years after the devastation, a handful of courageous men and women embark upon a dangerous crusade to overthrow their conquerors and bring back to the dark world the brilliance of a long-lost name, Tigana. Against the magnificently rendered background of a world both sinuous and barbaric, the sweeping epic of a passionate people pursuing their dream is breathtaking in its vision, changing forever the boundaries of fantasy fiction. Wow. That sounds super impressive, right? This book was really good. But those words, like the sweeping epic of a passionate people pursuing their dream. <laughs> it really is, though. So there's a group of people. You can see years after the devastation, it says, a handful of courageous men and women realize that there is a country that they used to live in. And now they remember it, and it's called Tigana, and they would like to get it back. And so we follow this group of people as they are trying to just be like, hey, Tigana was a place, and we remember it a little bit, and we want it to be a place again. But it is much more than that. And it's a, a really long book, but it didn't feel long. Like, it felt like things were always happening. It's, it's one of the books that I really wish I would have got a physical copy of and not read it on ebook so that I could put tabs in it and actually, like, think about each chapter, maybe even make notes after the chapters. I'm learning there are more and more books like that that I want to do that way. And so it's changing kind of the way that I read and interact with books. And I love it when something does that. So I really recommend this book. I would probably say just for adults, just because it is such a mass of massive book and an epic adventure. And, but however, I, it's, I think it's accessible to a lot of people. It just depends on if this is what you like or not in your fantasy reading life or reading life in general. So I know this has been a short one, but there's really not a lot I can say because some people have fake names or not, not fake names, but they're not their real names because they either don't remember who they are or they're hiding who they are. And so I can't even really talk about the characters but the group as a whole, I really love. Like, I love the dynamics. I think he has done a really good job of developing those characters. I am a very character-driven reader. And so I feel like this would have felt a lot more time-consuming and more of like a sludging along to try to get through this book if it if the characters hadn't been as great as they were. And they absolutely were fantastic. So I highly, highly recommend this book. Let's see, what in the world kind of emojis are we going to put with this? Um, well, you can put a city. There is like a city emoji that you can put. So let's do that. Try to do it at night. Can you do a nighttime? I think that you can. Anyway, I'm spending too much time trying to figure out the emoji. I don't care. Leave whatever kind of emoji that you want to. Let me know if you've read Tagana or if you've read any more by Guy Gabriel K because... I've read one of his, one other book from him, and I really enjoyed it too. So I feel like there are plenty out there that I could read by him because I think he's got other books too. So let me know what you thought of it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.